I'm American Indian. Uh, to be more specific, I am Navajo and San Carlos Apache from Arizona. So I come from a long tradition of family service in the military. Primarily my family served in the Marine Corps, uh, but my dad, he was an Army Ranger, served in the period after Vietnam, and uh, my grandfather was a Navajo code talker in World War II. He uh, served primarily in the Pacific Theater, and then after the war was over, he went off and uh, served in Korea. And in 2003, he was uh, recognized by President Bush uh, with a service medal coin, uh, recognizing for his service and what he did in uh, World War II. I primarily served because after 9-11, I felt that it was my civic duty to to join the military and go off and defend what had happened to us. Obviously it took some time because I went through ROTC and I finally was able to get to Iraq in 2008, or 2009 and then later Afghanistan in 2012. But I probably do it not only uh, for family heritage reasons, but because of what happened on 9-11. And I remember hearing from my mom recently because I started digging into my, uh, my past when I took a uh, genealogy course at ASU that he would he came home and could not speak about anything that he had done not even discuss the code with even his with my grandma so um, it was they never broke it and it was uh, I think one of the reasons why they won the war we uh, I think we have less than one percent predominantly that serve in the military in the United States but it's an even smaller number within when you look at the the dynamics of Native American Indian heritage it feels great, especially having known that my grandfather was a code talker and helped uh, impact the war effort in the Pacific Theater. But also, you go back and go to the um, the Indian War campaigns, you see the same thing where you have uh, Indian scouts serving alongside the cavalry to fight the insurrection. So um, it's it's a tradition that's always there, and I think it's going to continue to move forward. I and mean, we saw it with Iraq and Afghanistan, a lot of American Indians served in both those theaters, and they still continue to serve today. And I don't see it uh, dying off anytime soon.